Almost 200 Palestinians, including 58 children, have been killed as the ruthless Israeli bombardment of Gaza Strip has entered second week. Israel launched dozens of new strikes after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said an end to hostilities was not imminent. More in this report. In over a week's savagery campaign against innocent, undefended Palestinian civilians, the apartheid Israeli forces have killed scores and wounded over 1,200 people. Israeli air raids on Gaza City flattened three buildings and killed at least 42 more people just on Sunday. Rescuers in Gaza are still struggling to pull survivors from under the rubble of the collapsed buildings. However, defying all norms of humanity, Israeli forces are now blocking the rescue equipment from reaching the emergency sites. In the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces used drones to drop tear gas on Palestinian demonstrators near the Beit al settlement. Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al Maliki said Israel is committing war crimes. He urged international pressure on Israel at a UN Security Council session as life becomes unlivable in Gaza. Palestine have been suffering from such destruction for 15 years, but now the situation is getting even worse. This conflict has aggravated the suffering of the Palestinian people. We also haven't found any solutions. This is literally a tragedy of humanitarianism. U.S. President Joe Biden says his administration is working with Israelis and Palestinians for a sustained calm. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken discussed situation phone calls with the Qatari, Egyptian and Saudi foreign ministers. This comes after U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned of an uncontainable security and humanitarian crisis. But the UN Security Council meeting, already delayed by Israel's ally, the US, resulted in little action.